What up, guys? Nico Sports Cards here coming back at you with another video. Hope everybody had a great long weekend out there. Oh, man, the Celtics just got knocked out. So, I don't know. Maybe you're happy about that. Maybe you're not happy, but we're down to the wire now. NBA Finals are coming, and then it's football time. But a lot of action in football. We got DeAndre Hopkins as a... What happened? So, he got cut, right? So, he's basically a free agent. He can talk to any team he wants. The Eagles have been somewhat linked to him. I mean, it's basically checkmate if they pick him up, but I don't think... There's people saying that it's going to happen. There's definitely some rumors that it's going to happen. I don't see it happening. I just feel like there's a good dynamic going on in that locker room. I don't know if I really want to mess with the chemistry of the receivers. Not that It's not that DeAndre Hopkins has a bad reputation. I've heard he just has a big personality in the locker room. So my... As, as much as I think he could add value from like a, like a single player offensive standpoint, I'd rather not pick him up. But anyway, you didn't come here to hear about that. You came here to see what's going on with this weird box called Sports Kings or Sport Kings. So I was at Best Buy, no joke, Best Buy. And I saw this box and I was like, all right, this looks interesting. I've never heard of this box. You got a Babe Ruth cut auto. You got a Jerry Rice patch auto. So it's a multi-sport Kerry Strug, Nolan Ryan, I don't know, all kinds of cards in here. We're going to give it a shot. I think it was 20 bucks. And then if there's time, because i got to run, i got the kiddos knocking on the door, we're going to do a mega box. We'll probably do it. All right, enough with that. Um, let's just get to the box. And I also want to tell you guys, I want to tell you guys that I have a theory on what's going to happen with Panini. I've been giving it some thought, and I have a theory. But let's get into a couple of packs and see what goes down. All right, so it's... Five packs plus a bonus pack. So the five packs look like they are. Let's just get them out. See through packs, and then you get a bonus pack. This be interesting. So I read that you can get, there's a bunch of cool autos you can get. You can get Jerry, obviously Jerry Rice, that showed you that. The Babe Ruth Cut signature auto, but you can get Cal Ripken, Larry Bird, Nolan Ryan, Ric Flair auto. I think the auto is going to be in the bonus pack but we'll find out. All right, let's see what this stuff is all about. Has anybody out there opened one of these before? All right, I'm not gonna know a lot of these people. Lolo Jones, Dallas CV, Sled Dog Racing, check this out. Okay, all right, okay. Let's slow it down. So we're going deep into the pro sports. Bob Sledding. Sled, no joke, we have a sled dog racing. So just in case there's some of you out there that are like diehard sled dog racing fans, you're in luck because now they make sports cards for you guys. So Dallas CV, I'm guessing he's good. Jerry West, Lolo Jones, Malong, oh man, they got billiards, and then we got minis. So skiing. There's a Larry Bird and a Joseph Rudd. Is he wrestling? Wrestling. And another Dallas CV. So there's colored parallels in here because we just got two of the... We got two of the Dallas CVs. One's blue. They're not numbered. So I don't really know what to make of it. I think they need to do a better job of... I mean, they tell you what you can get, but like, what are the odds? Are blue rare? I don't know. I'll do a little research after I open these up and see what's what's what. We got a rice on the back, a blue rice. So, I mean, this is the thing. Don't put two of the same card. This checklist must be really small. So I know the there's, this is the fourth set. The third set ended at number 123. So that means there's like 40 cards, 41 cards in each set. So, yeah, you're pretty much going to get a whole set. Jerry Rice in the Raiders uniform. Another Jerry Rice mini, and then a Jerry Rice in the Niners uniform. So he takes on three cards. So this is this is a Jerry Rice box. Hey, something's got to make the wall, right? Might as well be Jerry, and it's got to be in a Niners uniform. No offense to the Raiders out there, but I think of Rice as a 49er. Lolo, Frank Gore, nice. That a boy. Way to put Frank Gore in the set. That dude needs more love. 
Do you understand? I think Frank Gore is the number two all-time rushing leader. Is that right? Someone correct me. Number two? No. Emmett Smith's number one. Frank Gore is definitely top five. And uh, have we ever seen any of his cards on auction go crazy? Nope. Kurt Warner, Nolan Ryan. Let's see the back of these. Yeah, they give you little stats, 100 miles an hour. In the, his 40s, he was throwing 100 miles an hour in his 40s, guys. Everybody that's 40 and above right now, picture yourself throwing a ball as hard as you can. I got news for you. You threw it 45 miles an hour. That dude was throwing it 100 miles an hour. Nolan Ryan was awesome. Is awesome. All right, what was Holloway? He was a track and field. This is track and field. Hurdles. Keep going. Kurt Warner, Ric Flair. All right. Okay, bonus pack. Let's see what this is about. I think the, it says you get a, I think you get a hit in every pack or every box. So this is either a mem card or an auto. It's a mem of Larry Holmes. Game worn of Larry Holmes. Let's see. Uh, the front of this card features a piece of robe worn by the WBC heavyweight champion Larry Holmes during the walk into a professional boxing match. Wow. He was the WBC champ from 1978 to 1983 and the, I can't read, is that IBF? Champ from 1983 to 1985. This dude was awesome. That's a, that's a pretty cool, you know what? The whole box just made up for, this was pretty lousy, let's be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... This is pretty sweet. Like we're all chasing game worn in these boxes we open. And this is a legendary boxer game, game worn. Like if that was a, what's the equivalent of Larry Holmes? Maybe like a Terry Bradshaw or who's someone that was on top of his game for a really long time in the seventies and eighties, whatever it is. Like if you got a game worn piece of memorabilia from one of those guys, you'd be really happy. So I'm pretty psyched. All right, we're also gonna do the Mega Box Playbook, which I was at Target and saw it, and you know your boy's gonna pick one of these up if he sees one at Target. All right, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna give my theory on Panini. So we've all been waiting for Panini to do something with Fanatics, right? I think everybody can agree we thought a deal would be done by now. It's not happening. So that means they're stuck at the negotiating table. You guys can, I'm not gonna retell the stories, but you can look up stories on what Fanatics has done to basically make Panini's life miserable outside of just getting all the licenses, all the sports. Here's what I think is going to happen. Panini refuses to sell to them. They, they, they'd rather go bankrupt. Hasbro has trading cards, not sports trading cards. They have like uh, Magic the Gathering and all those cards. They're big. It's a big driver. They're a public company. They talk about it a lot. They just did a partnership with Panini, that Monopoly set. Panini is the prism monopoly. The thing was a massive success. I think that was a test run to see how mixing the two brands together might do. It was a success. You bring Hasbro in, they start launching collaborative product that's got like Monopoly on it, or I think they own, they own a bunch of stuff. They could just brand it how they want. It doesn't need to be licensed by the NFL or NBA, and they can do more with it than Panini would be able to do on their own. So that's my sneak play. I think Hasbro buys Panini, and we all move on. All right, so we're going to do playbook, one mem or auto per box. We're looking for the orange parallel. You get two in a box. And I'll tell you the bummer of it all. There's no Brock Purdy in this set. It's tough to read the names. Brian Johnson, Gridiron. Um, yeah, I was looking at the um, rookie checklist. There's no Purdy, which is kind of lame. Because this came out, this was, I think this was the most recent release from Panini. And these are not hard cards to print. You couldn't just throw in a Purdy in there? J.K. Dobbins. So there's this purple parallel at the end, too. Um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I think the Mem is in there. So we're going to keep going. Do that one last. 
it's not like you need to go back to like Purdy's team and get the rights to it. Jerry Judy, we've got a Brees Hall next up, rookie. Damian Pierce, and I cannot read that name. You guys can read it, there you go. Someone else shouted out for me. All right, we've got a small little shimmer there. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that shine on the back? It's gonna be one of the orange parallel. Justin Fields, Christian Harris. Ooh, that's a good looking card. What is that? That's not the orange parallel. I don't know what that is, but I'm sleeping it up. It's definitely a refractor of some sort. It's kind of a mix between mosaic. I'd say mosaic is the closest thing to it, but Christian Harris, I don't know what parallel that is. It doesn't say, it says, uh, fast forward this if you're not interested. Next up, prime numbered. Am I just missing it? Gold, platinum, green, red, purple mosaic. That's the one we've been getting. Base signatures, rookie purple. I don't know, I don't see it. I'm sure it's staring me in the eyes, but. We'll look that up later. That's cool. That's a good looking card. And then this is a sketchbooks of Justin Jefferson. Nice. Don't fall. Look at this mess we've made. All right, before I open the last one, I just want to sleeve up that Jefferson, but I may have underestimated playbook. I'd never bought, I've never bought a box of playbook before. Um, I don't think at least. I've only opened packs from like sub boxes. And so I'm dipping my toe in the water with a retail box. But we're supposed to get two orange parallels. Maybe that's the orange. It doesn't look orange to me. Uh, Michael Thomas. Okay, this is our mem. Neutral zone. That's a cool photo. And we've got Leo Chanel and the mem. I'm gonna go top to bottom. It just shows you right there. RM for the Packers. Is it gonna be Christian Watson? It is. Back to back Christian Watsons. I mean back to back is my last video. I hit that Christian Watson out of Phoenix. Nice. All right, so it's a men card from it's not numbered, a little bit of a bummer. Don't worry, Fanatics is gonna fix all that. They're gonna get all that stuff right. Like the the game worn versus player worn, the sticker auto versus the on card auto, the not numbered versus the not unnumbered. The, let's be honest, the, it's a complete mess out there. They're gonna clean it up. They're gonna clean it up. They know they know what's going on. All right, so that's it. I don't know what these, supposed to get two orange parallels. I got these, sketchbooks, and I guess there's an orange tint in there. Like if you really like shine it, I guess that's orange. But anyways, I think the highlight of the video was this. Larry Holmes, fighting worn, prep fighting warm, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, that is all I got for you. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please have a great day. But for now, I'm out. Peace.